Hey, I'm Nathan from Blue Oak, and in this video, I'm going to go over a knot that's been asked about uh, from one of our last videos, the slip figure eight. Now, I did make a video of the slip figure eight already with, uh, with throw line, and I'm going to revisit that really quick, and then I'm going to tie it with the rope because it looks different. With the throw line, you tie the slip figure eight by simply going around and passing a bite through instead of the tail to finish the knot. Um, notice a figure eight would be, figure eight would just be this. That's a figure eight. But to make it a slip, rather than tying the tail through, there's the figure eight, that's not a slip. So to make it a slip, we pass a bite through instead of passing the tail through, and now it's a slip. It's, it's tight enough to throw into the tree, but it also just pops off with ease. That's the, that's the premise for this next knot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tie it with rope, but I just wanted to show you that it's the same knot as the throw line. Tie. it right there that's the slip figure eight but notice how it's it's not holding okay because the rope is slipping on the, the branch so we take we take this other bite and we pass it through our first bite and then it cinches down and it just totally locks off now what people saw in the last video was a really long daisy chain so and they also they didn't quite see a slip figure eight they saw more of a running slip figure eight, which then chokes on the tree. And then they saw me daisy chain it as well. So let me tie that really quick and I'll explain this. There's my slip figure eight. And then I did this with a daisy chain and then I cinched it. What's nice about this knot is it just pops right on out when you're done with it. It's very secure when you incorporate that daisy chain. Very secure and it just pops right on out after afterwards. We use this knot for rigging. We tie on a branch, we cut it, the ground guy is able to just pull it on out. Let's go over it now with a little bit more detail. The slip figure eight is technically different than the running slip figure eight. And what I'm what I'm tying here is not a slip figure eight. It's a running slip figure eight. Notice I've got my slip figure eight right there. I've tied the slip figure eight around the rope's own standing part. Rather than around the tree, I've tied it around the rope's standing part. And then I do one more tuck with a daisy chain and I lock it off and I tighten. Okay, but the difference between a knot and the running version of that knot, I think can be best illustrated with a bowline. So let me explain. A bowline, a simple straight standard bowline would be me tying the bowline loop around this tree branch. Voila, there it is, there's the bowline. A running bowline on the other hand, is me first going over the tree branch and then tying a bowline around the standing part of the rope. So let's do that. Notice that this is the same bowline knot, but because I tied it around the standing part rather than just simply around the tree branch, now it's not a fixed loop, it chokes. It runs up its own standing part and chokes up against the tree branch. So that, that's, that's what makes it a running bowline is it runs up the standing part. So now that I've demonstrated that with a, a more commonly understood knot, the bowline, now you can hopefully understand the difference between the slip figure eight that I tied with the throw weight versus the running slip figure eight that I demonstrated in that last video of the trucker's hitch. Okay, that running slip figure eight is what we use in tree work. That's what I incorporate a really long daisy chain with. So it's, it's a really the knot in its full 
fullness is a slip figure eight, a running slip figure eight with a daisy chain finish. If you want to get really technical, let's tie it one more time. Let's, I'm going to kind of walk through these steps. Go around your object first, then make your first loop and you're going to want to form your eight. So I make, I make a set, I make my loop and then I make another twist. And we call that an elbow, I think. Uh, some people call that an elbow in, in rope anatomy. But anyways, I made my first loop, then I twist it, I continue to twist it, so that when I do my tuck with this first bite, I'm gonna do a bite here and do this tuck through that, through that loop. Notice the eight, the form of the eight, okay? It's like right there. Is that, you guys see it, I hope? The form of that eight. If I take this out, it might look, it might see it a little better. You can see how I'm gonna complete this eight right there. And now as I, as I tighten this side of my bite, you can see it tightening up. And then I'm gonna adjust my bite size just big enough that I can pass another bite through. And then I'm gonna pass another bite through. That's the daisy chain. Now with rigging, or if you're using this to tie into something or something, you know, you're going to be hanging off of this, I would recommend that you take your last little bit of tail and just go straight through. And I call that locking it off. I'm locking off the daisy chain. That way, if you pull on it, it won't just come undone. Now it'll choke against the tree. Okay, now you can rig your branch or you can hang on it or do whatever you're going to do. And then when it comes time to untie it, the guy who unties it just needs to understand to undo that first tuck, which is that lock, undo that first tuck, and then the rest of it just pops right out. Okay, let's tie this one more time. And, and uh, Joe, if you would zoom in really well or just come closer as I, as I tie it this time. Because I know this is a complicated one. All right, and, and I'm a, I'll go around something different. This, go around this wider portion here. First, go around your, your object. In this case, it's the stem of the tree. Then you make, you're going to make your loop with your tail side, not with your running side. So make your loop with your working end, okay, your working end, and leave yourself a lot of tail so that you can have a nice long daisy chain. Okay, I'm just, I'm just propping that up. That's all I'm doing. Making my loop, passing it underneath, turning it into an elbow by adding another twist, and then I start passing my bites through bite 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 just bite after bite going through the each one going through the last one and then if you want to lock it off use that tail to pass, to pass through and that locks it off if you don't want to lock it off then just kind of adjust it so that it so that it stays so that it just floats there and then you can cinch it choke it nice and good against your tree whatever you're using it for, or, or if you're using it as like a tie down for a trailer, choke it really well. And when you're ready to untie it, simply pull the daisy chain and it'll come apart. I hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments if, uh, if there's anything more you'd like to know about this one or if you're having trouble with it. Thanks.